everybody. Alright. This is a video that I've been sitting on for a little bit because I needed a better understanding of what I was getting myself into. Um, recently, we had a new addition to my system due to stress. I was stressed out over a big decision that I've been attempting to make in my spare time. I've mentioned uh, on a previous video called why I'm debating joining the National Guard that I was really considering it. Um, technically, I still am considering this, but as is right now, I'm happy where I am. I like what I'm doing. I like my videos. I like the fact that the channel's growing like I talked about in the last video. I'm just, I'm really happy with things right now. And honestly, if things continue where they are, with us growing in number and people getting more and more interested, I may not even have to. Um, but anyway, the other that was created, I have learned, her name is Sergeant Calhoun. Not to be confused with the Wreck-It Ralph character, that was something somebody wrote to me and said, is it effective? And I said, no. This is something completely different. Uh, I'm not entirely aware of what she looks like. I assume that it, it is a woman. I assume that, like most of my others, I think pretty much all of them at this point, she is pale. It seems to be like a weird thing with me, like with my system, where they're just, they're white. And that's not really something I can control or anything, but, you know, some aren't human, so I guess there's gray-skinned ones, and there's zombies, so not all of them. I don't know. It's weird. Ignore that fact, I guess. It's it's not important, like, to the system. Like, but, um, she was created due to the fact that I've been stressing over the decision. Um, uh, I had been thinking about it for months like a long time, uh, and then, you know, I kind of put it in the back of my mind, I started focusing more on YouTube and getting my health in order, and suddenly, out of the blue, I get a text from the Colorado National Guard saying, are you still interested? They were calling me, they were texting me, they said, do you want more information? Are you still interested? Hey, we want you in our group. Like, they were bombarding me, basically. Well, not really, like, it felt like it, mentally, but they weren't actually, like, spamming me. Um, they sent me a couple texts, phone calls, um, I had to explain I'm in Arizona, and they're like, oh, we'll just transfer your info down there, and they'll get in contact with you. Um, but the entire situation stressed me out, like, to no end. Um, and it led to the creation of a drill sergeant, which I think I've talked about military and others on my channel before. It wasn't a very long video, if I did. It was not... There wasn't that much info. Uh, she is very authoritative. She's very straightforward. She's got the knife hand like I'm doing right now. It's just like, do this right now! It's like that. But, um... You know, in a way, she's also been a bit of a positive influence. I've been taking a bit better care of myself. I've been walking with a purpose, which is an actual thing they do in the army, you know, everywhere you go, you walk with a purpose, you walk quickly, you do things quickly. And, you know, that right there, it kind of, like, put it in perspective to me that she's trying to prepare me for this decision. Like, that's kind of what I think her job is. I'm not sure what that would be, like, necessarily. It might not even be her role, I don't know. Like. This is an issue I run into very often, when, you know, they're created through stress or through something that happened that I don't know about or that I'm not understanding fully, it becomes an issue that I don't know them, I don't know what they do, but I do know how they talk and how they act. Uh, one thing that she does very often is she pushes, not in a bad way, she doesn't like you know, it's not like a ghost shoves you or something. It's not like that. It's not like she's being mean about it. Um, I've started taking more walks. I've started, you know, getting out more. And anytime I started getting sore, anytime I started to slow down, she said, what are you, weak? Are you, are you giving up? You want to go home? You know, like, it's very much like an actual drill sergeant. If you watch videos of them, 
they are very in your face if you mess up. You know, it's very... If you're not up to their standard, they will get on to you. And... That's really the thing that's kind of been pushing me a little bit further towards my decision. But I've also made, like, a decision of my own. That I want to see where this goes. Because I love YouTube. I love what I'm doing. I love working on videos. I love talking and educating people. But honestly, like, if this... Like, this has been growing. And I've mentioned that before. I'm not going to say any... I'm, I might keep saying it because I'm so excited about it. But we're doing good. And I'm very happy right now. Honestly, this keeps growing. That decision's out the window. Like, I'll be so happy just to do this. But if something happens, and, you know, I don't want to go into what ifs because that's negative thinking. But, um, theoretically, if something were to happen, you know, to me or somebody else, or I needed to get a job, like, right then and there, that's the first place I'm going to go. Um, because when you're a small-time YouTuber, you don't make a lot of money. I'm not making any from this. <laughs> I chose not to monetize my videos, um, simply because the message is important, and that's for later. I have, you know, when I get to that higher number, not if, but when, because, you know, rocket. I'm a rocket to this guy. Um, you know, they get into existence. You know, road to 1,000, here we go. But, um, anyway. Only silly is aside. Um, what was I saying? See, that's why I can't be silly, because then I forget what I'm saying. But if something does happen, you know, like, and I don't want that to happen. I want to keep doing this. But honestly, like, it is the ultimate resort for me. Because here in this state, I've had a hard time getting a job. It is not easy. It's been difficult. It's been, actually, it's been the hardest thing I've ever had to do. Getting a job in Wyoming was easier. That says a lot. Um, but honestly, like, it is a huge decision, and there's a part of my brain that's like, what if they don't even let you in because of this stuff, and that's a possibility. But honestly, I don't ever want to give this up. I love what I do. I love making videos, and I love helping. But, you know, she's kind of pushing me towards, like, preparation, just in case. Like, like kind of like a just-in-case preparation. Like, you know, I'm here to make you better, to make you understand what you're getting yourself into before you even start. And for it to have something that was created through stress in this, it's very strange to me. And is this normal? Am I crazy? It's, is this a normal thing? Because I, like a lot of people who have DID, I question it constantly. I question if I really have this or not, or if I'm just out of my mind. And I am a very soft person. I'll admit. Like, and it makes me question, like, am I making the right choice? Which, when I ask her, obviously, it's, of course you're making the right choice by looking into this. You want to see what you can do? I'm going to push you to see what you can do. You know, it's that kind of thing. I don't know. It's all just like this really crazy whirlwind that I don't really understand, like, and I'm bouncing back and forth between, like, is this what she does for a role? Is this what I'm, what she's been doing for me? Like, God, I don't know. All I can tell you is that she's helping, and that's all I really got. But I'm starting to wonder, maybe she's a persecutor. Because, honestly, one thing that persecutors will usually do is they'll help in their own strange way. By calling you weak and saying that, you know, like, you deserve what happens and stuff like that. And it would make sense for a drill sergeant to be a persecutor. Now that I'm really thinking about it more, like, that just kind of popped in my head, like, wait a minute. 
that makes so much sense, because I was thinking about what I said, and what she said to me before. <clears throat> because I, I was sitting down after, you know, going for my walk, because it was a long way. I went a long way during that day. And she said, why are you sitting down? Why are you sitting down, private? You know, she calls me private, which is really kind of funny. Um, and I do that occasionally to people, too, but... Her, like, mine's joking. Hers is just straight up, like, like, why are you sitting down? Get up and start moving! You know, it's like that, like, really angry, like, push you to be better by breaking you down sort of deal. But the one, there was one thing that she said that kind of, it kind of hit hard to me. Because it was a blow to my self-esteem, but it also made me realize that, why am I sitting? She basically said, somebody ain't gonna make it. Somebody ain't gonna make it. You're weak. You're scared. You really ain't gonna make it. And you know what? I don't feel sorry for you. That's... That's what she said. She had next to no compassion. And I realized that that is a persecutor trait. By Because that's what Bastiel used to do, too. He used to call me weak. He used to say, like... You need me for this, you know, and you know you do, you know. That makes so much sense, actually. Man, this whole thing is took a turn, actually. I didn't think I'd actually be discovering something like this. Oh, man. I'm not feeling switchy, by the way. I'm just, I'm very tired. It's been a long day. But honestly... This is a very eye-opening video, and I'm glad I made this, like... I know I say weird stuff, and I don't make a lot of sense to people who have this disorder or whatever. Like... Like, other people who do, anyway. Like... See, there was my brain again, just, like, questioning, do I have this or not, which... I keep going back to the... The dissociated video, where I said, if you question if you have it, you probably do. You know, because... If you're faking it, or you're making it up, you're not going to question it. You're not going to think, oh my god, am I faking? You know, and it is a real question that I ask myself daily. But the more I look into it, the more I realize this is real. And this is my life. And I'm stuck this way. I have a drill sergeant in my brain, and... My decision's gonna have to happen sooner or later, because this is, uh, this is a thing. Anyway, all that craziness aside, I'm sorry for, like, the rambling and the sudden realization of what she could be. But it does, like, it, uh, it just makes so much sense for her to be a persecutor. Like, they have this twisted way of helping people. But anyway, thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate you stopping by, I always do. If you like what we do here, like, comment, subscribe, all the good kind of stuff. It really helps out a lot, especially with this algorithm. It is a mess. And remember, you're beautiful, you're valid, and you're important. That is very, very, very important to me and everyone up here. And I will see you in the next video that I make. So until then, goodbye.